tinting mixes white with other colors, with tint swatches being a way to build steps of white mixed in with the color. Mixed ink swatches can, as you saw, be used to mix black with colors, creating not tints but shades of colors. Mixed ink groups can automatically generate the shade equivalent of tint swatches, but without all the manual work. Let's generate shades of the orange spot color. From the Swatches panel flyout menu, choose New Mixed Ink Group. Mixed inks and mixed ink groups can be used to mix any two or more colors, as long as at least one of them is a spot color. And that goes far beyond just creating shades for monotone or duotone design. That is the topic of this course though, so creating shades is what we're going to limit ourselves to. In the ink section, turn on Process Black and Pantone Orange again. These three columns will light up. Fill out yours to match mine while I explain what they mean. The initial column asks you for the first value, the amount of each ink, to start with. InDesign will generate its first mixed ink swatch using the initial values of the activated inks. By setting black to 10% and orange to 100%, we're telling InDesign to create a first swatch that is 100% orange, complete full ink, shaded with 10% black. Setting the repeat beside black to 9 tells InDesign to automatically make 9 more swatches for a total of 10 swatches, each as revealed by the increment column, adding 10% black. The result will be 10% black, 20% black, 30% black, and so on, up to 100% black, all the while orange remains unchanged at 100% or full color. That, of course, results in progressively darker mixed ink shades of orange. You can see the results by clicking the preview swatches button here. Those are your shades. Click OK and they'll be added to the swatches panel under a special group swatch. You can now use them like you would tint swatches. Also like tint swatches, you can edit the base color, the mixed ink in this case. Double click group 1 above the mixed ink swatches to bring up the mixed ink group options. You can't adjust the steps in the mix. You'll need to create a whole new mixed ink group for that. But you can rename the group, which I recommend you do, and replace one ink for another. You could, for instance, replace the orange 021 with reflex blue, which would change all the swatches in the mixed ink group and all the objects to which you've applied any of those swatches. Using mixed inks and mixed ink groups creates duotone, two colors, black and whatever the other color is. So there's your duotone design. You can use those swatches just like tint swatches and get creative. So go ahead and do that in your design. When you're ready to move on, when you're ready to make images monotone and tint images, move on to the next clip.